Good morning, you guys. Every I'm, a, I'm not even joking. If y'all was on here with me on that last live, every time I start trying to say something positive, something happens. I feel like somebody don't want me to be positive. Somebody don't want me to be me. Somebody don't want me to be a blessing to somebody. But the devil is a liar, and we're going to keep this thing rolling now. So to everybody who was on with me a second ago, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. I was going to say, Jesus, 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 and somebody blocked it. Oh, it is. But that's okay. Y'all have to split my blame like that. Boom, so I can see y'all. <laughs> y'all, I be working. I'm on my way to work now. I just dropped my kids off. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Cassandra, thank you so much. You guys, make sure you sprinkle and follow Zoom Bugs Way. Sprinkle and follow Zoom Bugs Way. I'm so sorry about that, girl. Every time I start trying to say something about the Lord and the goodness there is, something happened. Y'all got to pay attention. Somebody don't be wanting me to talk about it. But good morning, Sonetta. How are you? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before I hit this highway, I want to make sure that I say again, thank you guys so much for all the support last night. You guys showed up and showed out. I appreciate you guys tremendously. I heard I activated a star party. I saw the most stars I've ever seen before. So for you guys for that, I'm thankful. I'm going to get some type of giveaway going on for y'all because if it wasn't for y'all, it wouldn't be me. So, um... Thank you guys again. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that. You guys, I just want to let you guys know that I definitely come from a place of love. I am a genuine person. Anybody I can help, I will help. If you guys can do me a favor and please tag Miss I'm Just um, Lynetta Williams for me. Hey, 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 Renita. How you doing, girl? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You guys, make sure you sprinkle and follow Miss Living Life with Joy. Um, and Miss Joy, I am going to be doing um, a business credit live here very soon just for you. Um, and also, Cassandra, I am going to be doing the a credit, the, the, the first steps. I was going to put us in a group, but I think we could help so many more people. I'm going to make sure I let you guys know the time. I'm going to make sure I let you guys know what you need. And we are going to do it together. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Renita. If for any reason, um, Miss, I am, I'm just Lynetta Williams comes on here and I don't see her. Can you guys please let her know that I, Lord, y'all be talking too fast, getting too excited. Um, that I said, um, because I saw on a post that she wanted to get in touch with Facebook. Let her know to please inbox me. And guys, just so you guys know, even though I said I'm going to do a live on it, I feel like on the live we can connect with way more people. But if you guys need help now, today, inbox me. I am sincere. Just keep in mind that I, I work like today. Um, I work, I'm in Vegas right now. And it's 724. I work 8 to 5. So if I don't respond between those hours, just don't hold me. But know that if I say, inbox me, I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if you guys notice, there'll be some people on there. Be. There are some people on here that's saying they love me, they want to marry me and all this stuff. Hey, Nassar, I always tell them, you can't inbox me. I can't get in, I can't get on Messenger with you. But for you guys, I'm saying, inbox me. <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> Let me know. So I just want to let Miss, um, I'm just Lynetta Williams know that she can inbox me and I'll help her get in touch with Marky Mark today, today, today. I'm going to do a live today, you guys, and I'm going to do a live on Sunday because I see that a lot of people um, need help getting in connect in um, contact with Mark. And that's how I employ you. And we are employees and we are teammates. And so we got to work together. So if there's anything that I could do to help anybody, just let me know. Um, thank you, Cassandra. I love you too. And you guys just keep in mind for me, it's very important to me. I'm an active and open communicator. If I say or do anything that slightly ruffles your feathers, please talk to me, ask me, call me out, let me know. Cause sometimes I do stuff. It's not intentional for sure, but sometimes what I say and what you hear, it's all about perception. So I can say it one way. You can perceive it another way. Hey, Jay, Larry. Um, I could say it one way, you perceive it another way, and before you...
you know it, we have a whole misunderstanding. We have a whole entanglement. And in all honesty, the only thing I want to be entangled in, in is God. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that. Hey, India, how are you, girl? Happy Tuesday. I ain't taking us back. Happy Friday to you. If you guys are wondering where my energy is coming from, aside from God, and I'm just happy. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, I'm on the muster early. I had a rough night, y'all. I'm over here trying to get TikTok together. I'm over here trying to get uh, YouTube together. And I'm also trying to get Facebook together. And then y'all know everyday life as a, as a wife and a mother trying to get all that stuff together. It's just a lot. But I'm not complaining. It's not too much. It's just enough. And somebody very wise told me, you can do it all. You got to organize. Amen, amen. <laughs> so that's what I'm on. J. Larry, J. Larry, J. Larry, my friend. We talked about this already. I can't do it, friend. You my friend. You can't be my husband. If you go back and watch my live from last night, I was giving my husband all kind of issues. Jay, you don't want that. You don't want these kind of problems. <laughs> Mr. R be like, Lord Jesus, sit out of work. <laughs> work, 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 work. You texted me. Hmm. So you guys, just for a recap, let's wait. Baby run. Woo, I'm helping somebody else, child. Oh. <laughs> so just to recap, we got living life with joy, sprinkle and follow. And we got Zoom Bugs Way. I need you guys to sprinkle and follow. My last live got cut off in in honor of Miss uh, Renita Joy, which is living life with joy. We are going to be doing a business credit live and on that business credit i'm going to show you guys how to properly set up your business okay so i'm gonna need you to bring your notepad and your ears and i'm gonna go step by step with you guys i'm not an expert i'm just telling you guys what i did and what has worked for me okay i have a couple of cards right now <laughs> as you guys all know if you didn't know i'm gonna tell you one more time hey joy good morning good morning good morning trusted the wrong person with my business credit and I found myself in a situation, I ain't gonna even lie, it hurt, it it, it damaged me. I, that's why I wasn't talking about it, but at the end of the day, I will not be silenced. I will not be defeated, and I, I will overcome this. So you guys, let me tell y'all something. If I could come on here with this smile, worth the mile, and show y'all these pearly whites, these, these reels too, just so y'all, these real, these are the teeth God gave to me. Um, because God wanted me to smile because my smile says a lot so if I could come on here <laughs> and smile from ear to ear <laughs> and owe somebody $15,000 that I didn't reap the benefits of <laughs> you could do it too so I ain't gonna even hold you all I'm saying is this right, wrong, or indifferent you still gotta live you still gotta move forward you still gotta try and you still gotta keep it pushing you guys, I work a nine to five and I have my household situation and I'm in the process of paying back $15,000. You know how heavy that load is on me. You know how sad I be. You know how remorseful I be. You know how upset I be. You know how depressed I be. You know how angry I be. That's what I do. I be and I move on. It, it ain't that easy, but it ain't that hard. It's a situation, but it is not it's not a lifetime. It's temporary. And when I have those emotions, I have a temporary moment. Lack. You know, I don't know how to put it in words, but what I'm trying to tell y'all, don't oh woe is me. Because it's always going to be you. Because God chose you. Because can't nobody carry the baton but you. Okay? each and every one of you so whatever it is or whatever it ain't thank god for having it and thank god for being alive and able to change it the only thing that stopped you is being below ground and all of us is alive because we on here today y'all gonna drop them pages pages joy finna go on a following spree all right now joy my bad joy <laughs> joy you know what i'm sorry you're right i have not sent you the information I'm going to send you the information as soon as I get in the office because I have an hour. I have an hour. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Joy. If I missed anybody's comments, I'm going to have to go back. But I, I think I was telling you guys that I'm going to do a business credit 
um, um, live and it's gonna take us some time because I want to make sure everybody got it so business credit is credit that's in your business name that is not associated with your personal credit so if all of us are influencers we should have a separate account and we I mean we should be had we should have a separate business and we should file taxes any of this money and time that we're putting into this social media should be a tax write-off for you. You can use 700 square feet, don't quote me y'all, because I ain't 100% sure. It's, let's say 500 to 700 square feet of your home if you're doing business out of your house. You can write off your phone, you can write off your internet, you can write off your mileage, you can write off this stuff you're giving for giveaways. If you set your business up properly and you're in the right formation, it's so much that you guys can do. You got to change your tax withholdings. It's so much that I could tell you guys, but I ain't going to overwhelm you. But what I'm saying to you guys is when we do this business credit, um, web, not webinar, because there's no charge for it. When we do this business credit live, I just want you guys to know this is what I've done. This is what's worked for me. This is what <laughs> gave me the ability to get 20K in business credit and have somebody take a lot of it. Um, actually, I have more than 20K. Um, but this is what my business credit, which is not associated to my personal credit. So if I decided right now that I said, I can't pay no 15K back and I decided let go, let God and walk away, it will not affect me personally. It's you don't give your social, I know a trick to make sure they don't get your social or whatever. Um, but it's totally legit, totally legal and we gonna, we gonna do this. So what I need you guys to think of is your business name. Are you gonna be living life with Joy LLC? Are you going to be Zoom Bugs Way LLC? What's your name going to be? And most importantly, your formation is an LLC, Limited Liability Corporation. So that means if the business takes a duck, you still good in the hood or in the servers. Okay? <laughs> hey, Salam. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So we're going to do the business credit and we're going to do a credit. With the credit, I'm going to show you guys first what we have to do with credit because we got to do it the right way. We got to do it the right way. First, we got to clean up your personal information. Your personal information is, let's think about it like this. If you have, if you, this is a hard way, to, a horrible thing to say, but we going to say it because I have to say stuff that resonates that everybody could get. If you, if you commit a crime and you leave the crime scene, you don't want to leave nothing on the crime scene that connects you to the crime, right? So we got to clear up your personal information because if you got all these old addresses and old apartments and all these places that you don't receive mail to, which if you ain't legally receiving mail to it, it's illegal for them to have it on your report, okay? You can't receive mail, so why you why you why you talking about it, okay? It's all, oh, it's in the past, let me go, okay? So we're going to clean up your personal information. Then we first we're gonna opt you guys out of all pre-screening notices because shouldn't nobody be having no predatory lenders coming to you and the credit bureaus should not be making money off of your bad situation, off your misfortunes, off your temporary. Hey Sandra, how are you? Happy Friday, girl. So we're gonna opt out of pre-screening. We're gonna clean up that personal information and I'm gonna get you guys set up with your credit monitor. And we're gonna do the free credit monitoring through Experian. That's the only one we need. Make sure you guys keep in mind, because when you know, you know, and can't nobody take it from you. I don't care what they say. They they may can silence you, but as soon as you're ready to talk again, what's in here can't nobody take from you. So you got to ed educate yourself. You got to get knowledge, okay? So what we're going to do with that is, <laughs> um, y'all, I forgot that fast what we was going to do with that. <laughs> it's okay to come back. It will come back. I, I hope it comes back with you. So we're going to get that credit set up. So y'all just get ready. Get y'all pen and papers ready. Oh, oh. So what we're going to do is I wanted to let you guys know Credit Karma and all those free sites, they free sites. Don't, don't. Them them scores probably wrong. They probably off, but that's fine. It's a score. What what that is, is it's a Vantage score. It's not your credit score. It's not what any credit card company is going to look at. It's not what any lender any mortgage company i'm gonna set you up you guys up with that and i'm gonna set you up with hey hey shan girl i think i'll be saying your name wrong drop your page so i can shout your page out too i want y'all y'all come in on y'all personal page i appreciate y'all tremendously but y'all don't even gotta ask as soon as you drop as soon as you drop your personal page as soon as you come in on your personal page drop your uh blog page so i can shout y'all out 
I'm glad to see that some people listened and came on over there and showed you some love and some support. That's what we do because right, wrong, or indifferent, if I and I if I ever and I, I don't know if you if you saw this on my live last night, if I ever say or do anything and you be like, I don't know where that's coming from, get at me. Just say in my inbox anything because I love communication and in all honesty it's all about perception because somebody can perceive something one way but I promise you I don't, I don't have no no ill will in me for anybody if I do I'm gonna tell you because that's the type of person that I am if I'm not if I'm not rocking with that I'm gonna let you know and I'm gonna let you know myself because I'm I'm an active and open communicator hey 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 miss ooh la la how you doing girl good morning good morning good morning Oh, I said it right. Shane. Okay. So Shane has a page as well. Y'all make sure y'all show my girl some love and some support. Shane, I'm sorry, girl. I be at work. I be confused with my inboxes. All that wonderful stuff. But me and her going to get a challenge going. I'm not sure what the challenge is, but, but we going to be challenging. Okay. And I want y'all to make sure y'all show up and show out and show some love and some support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Miss Ula La said, happy fine Friday to all of y'all. Y'all, I done ran out of chapstick. I'm over here putting coconut oil on my lips. I'm seeing some little crust coming in. Don't don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. <laughs> I'm out, y'all. I'm fainting. Y'all, y'all tag chapstick in this and see if they want to sponsor me. Cause I I get I you know what? I'm faithful to them. <laughs> I'm is in we is in a whole entanglement, okay? Um, so, um, just to do a quick recap, because y'all, I'm going to be pulling up on this office soon. I just wanted to let you guys know that if any of you guys need help with reaching out to Facebook, even though I will be doing the webinar on Sunday, Miss Ula La, I saw that a couple of people were asking you some questions this morning. Only one mentioned my name, so I only responded to one because it's your page. <laughs> and I don't want to be oversteppy. Um, so I, I let Miss, I'm just Lynetta Williams know that if she needs help with the, um, Facebook, uh, before the web, the, the live, she could just inbox me. I'd be more than happy to help her or anybody. As long as you guys just know, um, I'm off Sunday, Monday. So any other days I work, it's just a little bit harder for me. But if you got time for me, I have time for you. I am going to do a live about it today and I'm going to do another live on Sunday because I just want to make sure everybody gets the information because in all honesty, we need it because that's our boss. That's our employer. We need to know how to talk to him. Okay. Um, and then we are going to do a business credit live. Um, in honor of Miss Renita Joy, we doing a business credit live. Um, and in remember, all right, Joy, thank you. Thank you. In in honor of Miss Cassandra, we doing a credit live and in honor of everybody who feels like I felt before I figured out how I could talk to Marky Mark and them, <laughs> we gonna do a Facebook uh, 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 thing so we can talk to them. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, girl. Thank you, Sandra, you too. And that's right, it's the weekend, the weekend, the weekend. So we, anything that I can help with, I'm gonna help with. Like if you guys be like, what is Tanya time about? What is that, what that girl got going on? Uh, I just got going on me and, and I just wanna, I just wanna share. And anything that I know, I'm gonna share it because once you know, you know. And then if you share something that you know, then we have a community of people who are full of knowledge and know everything. And once we know, can't nobody take it from us. Once we know, we don't gotta we don't gotta pay ridiculous prices for stuff. Because if you think about it, if you give a person a fish, they'll eat for a day. You teach them how to fish, they eat for a lifetime. If you guys think about that in everything you do in credit, in business credit, in Facebook, in going to your job, in any skill, any trade that you do, people will pay you because you know. Oh, well, thank you, Joy. Thank you. I appreciate that, girl. The replays helped me just as much, and I appreciate that tremendously. So I just want to let you guys know, anytime you guys are thinking about something, you guys are feeling... Marky Mark, oh, girl, that's a name <laughs> that Lisa uh, Harold made up for Mark <laughs> over at Meta or Facebook one night. 
me and Ula La on a four hour live with Lisa. <laughs> and we started calling it Marky Mark. My bad, I just thought everybody had seen the live. I mean, it was real long. I can't tell if it was in the beginning, end, or the middle. <laughs> but Marky Mark is Mark Zimmerberg. Z Zuckerberg. <laughs> he our boss. Hey, Mark. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Mark is our boss, girl. <laughs> Mark got checks with all our name on it. He just don't know yet. <laughs> I bet Mark ears be ringing because all we do is talk about him. Do your ears ring or your palms ring when somebody talking about you? Mark probably at the doctor right now. Doc, my ear is something wrong with it. <laughs> it's because all these influences over here calling your name. Mark, Marky, Mark, 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 Mark. <laughs> One of us gonna name our kids Mark. <laughs> the next 2020 baby name is Marky Mark. <laughs> Shoot. But yes, that is that that's Facebook girl. That's Meta. That's Mark and them. All of them. We don't really know their names yet because we ain't got no personal relationships with them yet. So they we just all them. Mark, Meta, Marky Mark. Mr. Zuckerberg, I don't know what we should call him yet. Maybe we got to get a higher level. Uh, we got to go up to another tier, and then he'll let us know how to address him. So for right now, we just going to call him Marky Mark. <laughs> hey, Marky Mark. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Girl, you know what? <laughs> this right here brings out all the little cuckoo-ness in me. This my gen to make you see and I guess I don't know I've been breaking up with it since the 60s I just I just keep he just keep calling me back I just I be trying to leave I do but then I be like tired and I just need him in my life or whatever CJ already got a second husband I can't have a third you know in the states they got a name for that I don't want to be a little loosey goosey now y'all oh so that's another thing I was telling y'all I'm, I'm working on my Facebook I'm working on my YouTube y'all know it's a bag at Facebook and it's a bag at YouTube with our name on it too so I'm working on that now I gotta upload all these videos and y'all know what I just realized I ain't upload the coupon and video to y'all to y'all on here so I'm gonna upload the coupon and videos to y'all which when I say y'all I mean to my Facebook family and then I'm going to um and then if you guys have any questions about coupon and you just ask me and I'll be more than happy to help you okay y'all I'm trying to pay attention because I don't know if this school bus got a lane y'all can't see oh the school bus is turning okay so y'all, I was trying to I'm trying to pay attention because I don't know if this school bus was in the lane or not, but it wasn't. I know, I know, Joy. I, I have tried B12 before. I really have. It just it don't give me that energy. You know what? It's an excuse. I like the way it tastes. I feel like I feel like it gives me wings. Y'all remember on that Kanye West song? said it's provocative it gets them going that's what i feel like monster is that look cut yeah I, you know what one day i'm gonna leave it alone for good because i'm i'm stronger i'm stronger i'm wiser and i get myself credit for y'all you know what aside from me trying to pay attention y'all the police was behind me anybody know when the boys get behind you get nervous so i'm like i'm in a school zone it's say 15 am i going 15 and a half they're gonna pull my ass over so they done gone and left now but you know don't nothing get you nervous like the popo you know how people say call the popo hold on minute y'all leave the popo right where they at <laughs> i don't want no smoke with the boys i just be talking Ma'am, get on over there. You don't know how to do the roundabout? God damn, she gonna push me out the circle. We gonna need the po, -po. You hit me, because I'm falling out this car. Just so y'all know, if I'm on live and get in the car accident, I'm out. I don't care if it's a fender bender. I'm in bed. I'm getting a lawsuit. Somebody gotta pay me. So 
If I gotta sue my own insurance, I'm getting a check. I'm in a wreck, I need a check. My vitamin C, oh, there go another popo, y'all. Is this popo city? God damn, oh, we in Northtown too. I heard Northtown don't play, honey. You get in the pokey in Northtown, you just is done for or whatever, okay? <laughs> I'ma give me some vitamin C too. And some water and all that, y'all. Um, yeah, see, the police done threw me off. You know what? I'm going really slow, Sandra. I am, but I'm saying, you know how when the police get behind you and stuff, you just get nervous. I, I always go really slow, especially in the school zone, because, you know, aside from the police being right there, I don't, you know, I want to be going slow because my kids go to school and kids are precious. And sometimes they don't think they just dash out in front of you. They ball go there. They yo-yo go there. They go behind it. But it's just something about, you know, I'm like, I know I'm going under 15 miles, but what if he radar me at 15 and a half? Now we got a problem. Hey, Amanda, how are you, girl? Amanda, don't you have a page, hun? Amanda, are you? I ain't going to even ask you, but I think I know the name of your page. If I'm right, I'm going to say it. But drop your page for me. Let me see, because I want y'all to show her some love, too. This love city over here. Everybody get some love. You 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 get some love. Like I'm on replay. <laughs> like when your phone gets stuck. I'm on replay. Woo! Now if I pull up to another light and it's another police, I just may have to park. Because I can't be driving around them. Not when I'm drinking mustard. It's like alcohol. I get nervous too. It's mustard get me going, but it get me like a little paranoid too. I be like, hey, everybody out to get me. <laughs> Including the including the popo. Y'all, 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 let me tell y'all something. Tell y'all something before I get off of him. I don't know what city you in, I don't know what state you in, but what I need you guys to do, and this is this is sincerity, even if I make jokes about it, I'm for real. I need you guys to wherever you at. Hey, 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 y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy um uh, hey Maddie, how are you? Good morning, Tracy. Tracy. Good morning, Tracy and Jeff. How are you guys? Open book with Tracy and Jeff. Make sure you guys show them some love. Amanda, I was wondering if you had a page as well, hun. If you do, I want you to drop it for me. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You guys make sure you go over to Living Life with Joy. Ooh la la. Open book with Tracy and Jeff. Shane and the twins. And make sure y'all sprinkle follow and show them some love okay 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 i'm not from va i'm not i am in uh las vegas right now but i was born and raised in gulfport mississippi and then i lived in la los angeles uh south central for six years and now i've been in vegas for like 20 years y'all so i'm like a vegan <laughs> um amanda but what's your page are you are you um Life with Mandy. So Tracy and Jeff is open book with Tracy and Jeff. You make sure you guys go over and show them some love as well, as well, as well. Uh, but I wanted to tell you guys really fast before I got off of here. Um, and, and this is something that's near and dear to my heart too. Whatever city, state, town you guys are in, I want y'all to do me a favor. And I want you guys to look around at your surroundings. And if you are noticing that they are building up, and when I say building up, I mean they putting buildings up. I mean they, they building shopping centers, malls, anything. I want you guys to pay attention to that because if you're if where you're living right now doesn't look like what they building, you guys have to be concerned. Because what they're doing is they're coming in and they're building everything up, which is increasing the value. And eventually certain people will be pushed pushed out. It doesn't matter your color, your age, your race, your ethnicity. I'm telling you, wherever you at right now. Hey, Jessica, how you doing, girl? Hey, 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 Muhammad. Hey, Natasha, how are you? Hey, 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 good morning. Happy Friday to you guys. Jessica, girl, go and drop your page. Go and drop your page. So it, <clears throat> it doesn't matter what... Um, 
what race, color, religion, none of that doesn't matter. I just want you guys to look around at your surroundings. And if they are building up around you or in your city, you got to pay attention to that. You guys have to secure something. You guys have to take ownership of something. And, and what I mean by that is you guys have to buy something so you don't be pushed out. I, I work in property management in Vegas. Vegas was very affordable at one point. It's still affordable to some. But what's scary for me is I did a lease renewal yesterday or day before yesterday, you guys, and you won't believe this. We took the rent from $1,200, so $1,200, to $1,900 for a two bedroom, two bath apartment. You guys, that's more than my mortgage. A lot more than my mortgage, okay? So I'm over here in downtown working at a senior property. It's low income, you guys. It's low income, okay? So I'm in downtown. If any of you guys have a downtown in your area, you can just imagine. And when I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of people that are homeless. I'm seeing a lot of people that are suffering. I'm seeing a lot of people that, at a, that are at a disadvantage. Y'all know what else I saw? Hey, 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 Ms. Goins. They are building luxury lofts. Luxury lofts. If the people in this area are not concerned, so they have luxury lofts going up, which are really high on the level of a high class, um, a high rise, and we have little flat, older, dated homes. You guys got to think about that. The government can, the government can use their powers to take your land and take your property, and it's called estate. I'm gonna have, cause y'all know I have my real estate license too, so I know what I'm talking about. They've done it here in Vegas a few times, where they're gonna take your property for the betterment, and they can and legally do it unless you can get an attorney and pay attorney fees. They're gonna take your land, tear it down. And they're gonna beautify this city to bring more people in. Hey, 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 Miss Williams. I just wanted to let you know because I saw that you were asking questions about speaking to Marky Mark over at Facebook. You can inbox me. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do um, because I saw that that you were asking questions about it on Ula La's page. So in honor of you, <laughs> I'm gonna do a web. I'm gonna do a live today. And I'm going to still do the one on Sunday. But Miss Lynetta, if at any time you have any questions, you can inbox me. So inbox me. I'll walk you through it. You ain't got to wait to Sunday. If you need to talk to Mark, you, you need to talk to Mark now, girl, let me know. And that's sincere, you guys, all of you guys. If, if I can help you guys, inbox me. Inbox me. If you guys watch, there's some people that I tell they can't inbox me. That's like the people that's trying to marry me and be entangled with me. They don't know what they want. Everything that glitters ain't gold. They, I mean, they don't want this. But for you guys, if I say for you to inbox me, it's genuine. So inbox me. I'm going to help you out. And Miss Lynetta's page is I'm just, I'm just Lynetta Williams. Make sure you guys sprinkle and follow her as well. I'm heading into the office. I'm off Sunday, Mondays. But it's it's an easy process. I just wanted to help as many as many people as I can at once. But if you need if you need <clears throat> emergency assistance, and I'm gonna call it an emergency because anything that's important to you is important to me. If you need emergency assistance and I can help you, call me. Well, inbox me, and and I will inbox you back. I promise you. So I'm glad you got on before I got off because if anybody needs to talk to Mark today. Let's get him on the phone today. Well, it ain't gonna be Mark, but it's gonna be somebody close to Mark, at least we hope, right? Okay. So I was telling you guys that the government can use police powers and they can take your property. It's uh, it's 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 saddening to me, in all honesty, because with these rate increases and these rent increases that we're seeing in Las Vegas, hey Paula, from what I'm noticing is the senior community is is taking the hardest hit you guys remember when the section 8 voucher was a good thing now these landlords don't want to even accept the section 8 vouchers no more and you can say what what is it to you you don't get section 8 i don't get section 8 but i know that it's people that depend on section 8 i know that it's people who 
provide roofs over their kids' head for Section 8. And it's just like seniors, you guys. Can you imagine doing everything you can, fighting in wars, doing this and doing that to only not have anywhere to go? So I just want all of you guys to be knowledgeful of that. I just want all of you guys to pay attention of that. Just for me, and not only for me, but for you too. Right, and, and that is true. But not only that, and, and you're right, I could do a whole video on that. And I'm going to go on and touch on that real fast because I can only speak for me and what I go through. You guys, I work in a property management, right? I work in a leasing office. I've managed one. I'm assistant managing one now, and I've been a leasing agent. <laughs> so I've seen it all. And I'm telling you right now, when you guys come in there acting like a buffoon, and that's all I could call it, we, we, we start talking. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to deal with y'all. <laughs> and I ain't never seen a bad Section 8 voucher. And I ain't never seen a bad property that accepts Section 8. It's the people who hold the voucher. If you can find a bad Section 8 voucher, bring it to me. I'll pay you for it. A, a Section 8 voucher is a piece of paper. It's the person holding that piece of paper that acts like a buffoon and makes it hard for everybody else. And you're right, Miss Lynetta, that is happening. But aside from that, Section 8 is a government agency, so they can't afford to pay these increase in prices that the market is allowing so that's the reason why a lot of owners are saying well we don't want to accept the section 8 voucher because they won't top dollar because it's your home but it's they it's they business we'll be forced to leave right natasha that's what i'm saying they are forcing people out i raised the rent from 1200 to 1900 i knew darn well she was gonna say no because not to even hold you i seen her struggling and having chaps make our payment, and now she can afford to pay from twelve to nineteen hundred. I can't even afford that. How she gonna do it? I don't know. We are raising people's rents three, four, five hundred dollars, and I know they gonna do some kickback. And you know what? They not because you can't go nowhere in the. In, you can't go nowhere and be comfortable with how you living right now without paying that price, and they know that. So as you guys are just looking around your areas and you see buildings going up, they building up your city, just know that your city is growing and is, is growing without you. So we really all got to put ourselves in a position where if times is changing, we have to change. That's why I feel like this Facebook stuff is so important to so many of us because it can and will be a, a second source or a force a first source of income for everybody so we have to work together so we can help each other it's each one teach one like if i'm if i'm scrolling through these facebook streets and i see that miss lanetta needs help with facebook i'm gonna help her with that because i know she's on here working hard because i'm on here working hard and we all work for a reason sometimes people say get a real job this is a real job it's a real hard job too we may make it look easy but this 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 come with some some problems but my nine to five come with some problems i can't just walk out on it but we all got to work together we got to like make it make sense taxes gonna go up yes yes right and that's what i'm saying too like like we all need some additional money right now like some people are, are teachers and doing amazon Ain't nothing wrong with that, but that's what you got to do to live in these cities now. So if you can find a way to work smarter, not harder, don't let nobody knock you. Facebook is a job. It's a source of income. We just have to work our way up to it. We all been through internships. We, <clears throat> we all been on probationary periods before. It's the same thing. So don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do, but also know too. Somebody say, well, get a real job. This is a real job. It is a real job. Just like Ubering is a real job. Just like working at McDonald's is a real job. Just like working your nine to five is a real job. Sometimes people just hate so much, say anything, first thing come out of their mouth, just buffoonery. So if anybody need help with getting their stuff together, y'all let me know. But you guys, be a conscious, be, be conscious, be aware, stay woke. Because what will happen is if you don't pay attention, this happened in California. <clears throat> Some stuff went in there. I don't know the, the terminology, but I know what happened. 
I want to say the college or Tesla, somebody went in there and raised the price in California. It's so expensive in California. Californians, like original Californians couldn't stay there. Be they had to move out and people get mad at people from California who sell their houses and come into other states, but they have no choice. That is an expensive state. Vegas is becoming an expensive state. And if people don't pay attention, they're going to do the same thing here and in everybody else state that they did in Vegas. I mean, in California. Right, all the money going to spend the same. And when, and when you get a dollar from somebody, you don't be like, oh, this drug money. Oh, oh, this meta money. Oh, this such and such money. No, you don't. We, 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 uh, we recycle that money. Don't nobody know. Oh, this is a script or dollar. Don't nobody know where it come from. A dollar is a dollar. It's been the same. But <clears throat> if we don't stay <clears throat> conscious and aware of what's going on around us, I'm in a senior community. What are they going to do with some luxury lofts? What? They can't even walk. It's very interesting. It's sad. It's concerning. And it's something we all have to we all have to be conscious of. And I'm just telling y'all what I tell my sisters and my brothers. I need y'all to buy something. Hey, 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 keeping up with Lady J, how are you? You guys make sure you sprinkle and show her some love or whatever, okay? Um, um, it's the same thing I tell my, my siblings. I need y'all to buy something. I need you to have ownership of something. Rents go up, mortgages don't. So you, if you live somewhere for 20 years, and a lot of people say that, hey, 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 Miss Lady, how are you? I've been living here for five years, whoop, 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 and the third. I'm going to be honest with you, them owners don't care. That's why they say, well, you should give me something. Girl, they ain't giving me nothing to give you. They gave you option A and an increase or option B uh, out the door and they'll get somebody else. You can't be faithful and loyal to no landlord. You have to be the landlord and be faithful and loyal to yourself. Hey, Adriana, things are changing every day rapidly. At, at, for me, I pay attention to that kind of stuff at alarmingly high rates too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm telling you guys, stay woke, stay knowledgeable. Whatever you're trying to do, do it. Whatever, whatever, some, when somebody's telling you you can't do something and they ain't done it before, you can't listen to them. Because somebody who ain't never had a million dollars can't tell you how to get a million dollars because if they could, they'd have it they sell. Sometimes people say, oh, you don't need to do that. It's risky. Well, sitting here doing nothing is risky too because the last time I checked, they building up around me in, in, in alarmingly high rates. How am I going to be able to afford to live in this area? I talked to so many people who was in Vegas when Vegas was nothing. They concerned too. It's people in every city that feel the same way. And if you're not concerned, you got to be concerned. Because no matter where you live or where you don't live, when they start building up around you and your stuff don't look like they stuff, you become an eyesore and they will get you out of there. And the government will help them. And if you guys don't believe me, Google police powers. The government police powers is four of them. And one of them, I can't say the word. But uh, it's because I can't pronounce it. Government comes in and takes your land for the betterment. They got to find a reason, y'all. It's the government. But also a way that they get certain people out of the area is they raise the rent. I've been doing this for a long time. When we want a better clientele, we raise our criteria. When we want to let anybody in, we lower our criteria. If they asking for three times the rent, that's because a lot of people don't make three times the rent. So they looking for a better class of people. That's the way you do it without being discriminatory because we heavily mandated. You guys got to remember that. My mom is calling me. Hey, 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 Miss Nicole. I'm so sorry. My mom is calling me, y'all, and she texted me to please call her. We're going to pick this back up. I got to call Mommy Dearest. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. You guys, please sprinkle and support each other. You guys stay woke, stay vigilant, and I am going to talk to all of you guys soon. And again, thank you guys last night for the star party. It was awesome sauce. I appreciate it. If it wasn't a star party, I appreciate the stars because that's the most stars I have seen. <clears throat> and uh, 
Miss Lynetta, please um, inbox me. I got you. I love and appreciate all of you guys. Joy and Miss Nicole, I'm going to reach out to both of you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye-bye.